So who wants to take the plunge? So for right now, we're going to install the plunger. So this is a plunger, you can see a spring. This is like a regular plunger from a regular pinball machine. Uh, but there's a couple differences for the virtual pinball, obviously. There's no real ball. Uh, this is a Pinscape uh, Oak Micros plunger kit. This is uh, This sort of takes the physical location of a plunger and convert it to a virtual placement of the plunger. So uh, it's quite simple. This is going to be a relatively quick install. Uh, I've got the Pinscape board because I just want to show you real quick. The, in terms of wiring, again, there's three inputs. There's a 3.3 volt. I think in another video I mentioned this is not powered, but there is obviously a little bit of power going in there. 3.3 volt, a ground, and a wiper. And a wiper, I believe, does the, you know, the position, the position of the plunger. And then uh, you can see very small. I don't like the small. The wires are too small. So I'm actually going to connect little wires in here or higher gauge wires, which are narrower, thinner. And then can use a little connector, one of those white connectors to get it back to the pin board. And so here's the pin board. And you can see there we've got a uh, plunger. And then you've got a various, you've got a ton of different inputs here, but you're only using three. You can see them. There's 3.3, there's the wiper, and then the ground. So three wires from that go to three wires. I mean, that's, that's all there is to it. So you can't, I was just going to say, you can't screw that up, but yeah, you could. So we're going to wire this up. As I mentioned, these are very, very small. So they sort of only accept little, little wires. I've, I've got this from a previous project. This is like 24 gauge sort of hookup wire. So I'm going to peel off three wires here and uh, cut them. Put them, I'll put little screw terminals, these little terminal things into here. And then I'll attach one end to, you know, one of these connectors. And then this connector will take the three wires back to the pin skateboard. So I've screwed those in. You can see how small and fine. Ooh, you're fine. Uh, I just don't like the dangling there because it's there's so little. So I'm just going to put some tape, some insole tape, just to pin that down, just so there's not a lot of pressure in there. They're very, very, very small terminals. I mean, it won't get a lot of movement, but just even the gravity of holding these wires can cause some pressure on the wires. And the wires can break. You know, they're very, very thin wires. So let me put some tape on. So I've got my uh, connector and my three wires. These will go back to the pin skateboard. I'm going to use these cable ties. I need to buy a lot of these to wrap things up just to keep things sort of organized. Just want to quickly go through sort of the mechanics of how this plunger works. Uh, this kit. It came with a spring uh, because you don't need the, the sort of regular spring that comes with it. It's a lot more tension because you're, you're obviously not pushing a ball, uh, but you do need a spring. Uh, so this came with the kit. There's a, a mounting block. So this goes in the back, you know, in the front of the pinball machine, there's the mounting block and there's, there's three screws. Screw that there. You don't obviously don't screw them yet because this thing here sits in here. If I pull back the spring, you can sort of see there's a washer there. And I have to move, I'm trying to do this with the camera in the way, so bear with me. I don't know if I can. And that just slots in there. Oh geez. I might have to redo this. Oh my lanta. That was shocking. Okay. And so when you pull back, pull back, this goes backwards and forwards. And then obviously the, the system, 
the software measures where the plunger is so it'll know when it's back when it's here so it'll translate that into you know the ball being shot virtually so let's just drop it in the cabinet through the hole as you can see i'm really close to these flippers i'm going to take the flipper mechanism out put them back in because there's not a lot of room i did a dry run i've been to, you know throughout it will fit but there's not a lot of room at all i'm actually going to take these out and then we'll put this in because these are sort of more movable than this guy three mounting screws so I've got the bracket in there it's all connected it's not connected but it's installed I mean so we're gonna drop these in so it's all it's all installed it's all screwed in I just want to just zoom in here uh, with the flipper buttons there's there's no room to put them facing down which is okay uh, so they're actually the leaf switches I'm gonna to have to put facing up. I do know that will work So I'm actually holding the camera. Normally it's on a tripod. So I'll put these in they'll be facing up. They'll be covered So you will not see them and they'll be out of the way So we'll screw these back in. I've got my flipper Magna save Thankful that I, that I marked these up. That was a good idea. So the flipper as you can see, they're gonna to be out of the way of the plunger. It just looks unusual because they're facing up. So there we go. Flippers are installed. I tighten them as best I could. You know, they, they might work themselves loose, but I got enough room. There's actually gonna be a sort of a piece of a wood across here. I've got the glass and the wood. So there's going to be enough room, although that is tight. It makes me a little nervous, but it's okay. Um, but everything is sort of out of the way. The flippers, you know, obviously don't want things interfering with each other. So now I'm going to uh, cut some, cut my wire lengths to make sure this goes. Oh, sorry, my finger was in front there. 